Okay, so now we have the character, and she is starting to look more human, even though she's just half of her. So the next part we're going to do is actually work on the hands. The hands are actually really interesting. So the hands are another important feature of the human body, so we're going to start with extruding. Again, I always use the uh, world space. This is probably when we start to kind of crush it a little bit so that we can actually start producing our hand. Again, extrude some more. This is going to produce our palm. And really what we want to do is um, actually create uh, fingers. So we're going to go ahead and go into our interactive smooth polygon tool. And again, I'm just going to go ahead and create some quads here. So I'm going to go in and so I can click, click, enter, G, click, click, G. And we have an N gone here, one, two, three, four, five. So I could do a um, try. I'm just going to leave it as this. We have four fingers, so I think I'm just going to stick it to this. Now the trick to this is actually going, we're going to go to edit mesh. Notice up here it says keep faces together. We're going to go ahead and uncheck that and then we're going to extrude. So you may be wondering what exactly happened. Well, if I extrude like this and then click on local space and just start scaling individually, I now have the makings of four fingers. So I'm going to extrude again, go straight and a couple more times to get kind of like the finger and then one more and this time scale it in a little bit so they look like fingers now of course i'm going to go in and tweak it but at least now we have the makings of fingers i'm probably going to add some edges because these guys have a little bit more of a shape and the other ones don't so let's go to edit mesh Gonna turn this back on because I forgot to turn it on and then it's a mess. Um, then we're gonna go to insert edge loop tool and let's add some edges. Nope, perfect. We can try scaling and see if it works. Nope, that looks terrible, so just not do that. Let's deselect some and then we can actually move these out a little bit. Scale. Deselect, scale a little bit, double click, deselect, scale a little bit. So that's going to help round the fingers out. And then select these, deselect, and then move this over. There you go. Okay, so grab these edges. And maybe push them out a little bit so they're a little bit more rounded. Again, you can see the effect. You can grab these guys and just kind of bring them in a little bit. These two. There's multiple ways you can actually create fingers. The most interesting way is um, you can do them this way or some people actually go ahead and create um, I'm going to go to the top view here. They actually create um, one finger and then they kind of go from there. It's going to be the pinky. Move it a little bit. Grab these guys. Move these down a little bit. Right, they kind of look like staircases, which I always thought was very interesting. Scoot these over. That thumb looks looks kind of big. Okay, this is just the basic way of making fingers. 
right? So our fingers don't look like that. So we're going to grab these guys and move them up. Right? Same thing with these. Scoot them up. Maybe scale them in a little bit. side view. Whoops, made them more. Hey, that's what I get for not looking at my uh, <laughs> my reference. Ooh, scale big. Make them bigger. where the thumb is going to be. The thumb. Am I going to flatten it a little bit? And then extrude. And that's how you basically create a very quick hand. I mean, of course, I'm going to tweak it further to make sure that it actually looks a little bit more like a hand. I mean, uh, I could definitely use a little bit more uh, tweaking and there's more details I could add to it, but at least you get an idea of what the hand and how to quickly shape it. Now that we have that done, looks like she got bit by something up here at the top. Um, ouch. Let me just shrink these down a little bit more. Okay, so the next part is going to be to um, actually duplicate the other side. All right, I'll see you next time.